All right, so we got some new uh, Milwaukee lawn equipment, the electric battery powered. And so this is the string trimmer right here. And then this is a attachment. So in a minute, I'll show you when I demonstrate it, we'll use it and then we'll remove the attachment right here. And they sell other attachments where you can use the motor part and the handle on different pieces of equipment. So the only piece of equipment I bought so far and really don't have any plans to buy anything else is this edger attachment. So this edger will use the same top part and go like that. So we'll demonstrate that later. It looks very easy. All you do is loosen this knob. There's a push button right here that releases that. And then you pop the new one on and it's kind of like a, you'll hear a hard click and then you tighten up the knob. So it seems like everything is just really impressive build quality. Everything's real solid. So we're very pleased with it so far. This is a hedge trimmer. It comes with a real nice cover. That's the hedge trimmer. I need the cover off because we'll try that out in a minute. And then the blower. And these four items are really all I need other than my lawnmower. I got a pressure washer and uh, those are still gas powered Hondas. Um, but this is um, all the Milwaukee stuff. So the only thing I'd say the expensive part of this stuff is the batteries. And the reason that I kind of did this now was my hedge trimmer finally broke after 17 years that I had my gas hedge trimmer. So I started out with that and I realized that Home Depot through the end of June has, if you search their site, they have what's the equivalent of a free battery with almost everything right now. So I got a pretty good deal on the, the hedge trimmer with a, with a battery. And then I found a deal on a blower with a battery. And then I found this setup where I got the edger attachment, the string trimmer with the, this part, and it had two batteries. And so uh, this one came with the largest one I own, which is a eight amp hour. All the other ones are five amp hours. And I went with Milwaukee just cause that's what I already picked for my power tools. So I already had some Milwaukee batteries, but that's why I went ahead now and just bought the rest cause my other gas lawn equipment is like seven, nine, my blower is seven years old, my string trimmer is nine years old, and my edger is 13 years old, and they still work, but uh, with the battery deal, I just thought this was a good time to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a really short demonstration. I have not used any of this stuff, so you're gonna see it the first time along with me. So we're gonna go look at that. All right, this is the string trimmer. This is the head that came on it. It was already loaded. So I haven't had any experience loading this yet, but I did watch a little video on it. And it just said, I think on the video that you line these red red lines up and then it, the string goes in and you wind or something. So I uh, might make a video of that the first time that I have to mess with it, but I just, it was already installed, already ready to go. So I didn't bother it. The only installation of this part was that there's four screws right here, four Allen bolts or star bolts. And so I uh, installed this guard and they provide you with the tool. You don't even need a tool. And then on this handle part, uh, there was this, this is a very nice uh, rubbery feel, a uh, very comfortable feeling handle. And it had two, two bolts. Uh, use the same tool that, that that did. So two bolts here, four bolts there. That was the only installation. So then you, uh, and it also came with a, with a battery charger if you don't already have one. So came with this big battery. And just to give you an idea of why the batteries are such a big deal to buy them when there's a deal, this battery by itself would be $200. And those other batteries, the five amp hours would be like 130 to 150 dollars it's a very big incentive when they throw in the batteries. So then to start it, 
so it's got these two settings turtle for slow rabbit for fast and if you hit the button uh it's turtle right now you can't see it in the sun you have to trust me and i hit it again and it goes up to the tur to the rabbit so i'm gonna leave it there this is like a safety so you just put your your hand over that and hold it down and now i can pull the trigger and i watched a recent review as actually the day after i ordered these project farm on youtube uh came out with a comparison of electric string trimmers in milwaukee i think was top rated on response time so when you pull the trigger it's an instant response some of the string trimmers had a one second delay so i'm just going to try it out my yard really doesn't need string trim that bad but there there are some right here along this green metal that we'll just just try it out together for the first time Very nice, works well and it's a lot quieter than the gas power. So, very pleased with that. We'll go ahead and swap out the end for the edger attachment and just see how that works. All right, so we just tried out the string trimmer. Now we're gonna try out the edger attachment and demonstrate how you swap tools. So a lot of tools involved these are the only two i have the string trimmer and the edger they have a hedge trimmer attachment and some other things so i loosen this i push down with my thumb on this to release it and pull it out set that down grab this Kind of snap it in there. It should snap. Okay, there. So you want this to pop back up. So I had to kind of twist it a little bit. Let me try that again because I had some trouble with that. <clears throat> okay. So when you put this in, you want to hear a click. Like that. This will pop back up. You want that to happen before you tighten this down. So you know it's in there, you know you got a good connection. So there's also an adjustment that I have not messed with because I don't know what I need to do yet. I've never used this. You're seeing it for the first time with me. But there is a adjustment with this wheel there it is the slot right here with the wheel see this and the slot so over here i can it's nice that they made this where you can do it by hand so i can loosen this and i can slide this wheel in this slot to affect my height so we'll go experiment with it i'm going to leave it right here for now Okay, so... 
reason easier than my gas power, but I can't really explain why that would be. I'm gonna adjust this wheel and see what that does for me. Because it does seem like I might benefit. So I'm gonna loosen it. I'm gonna slide it all the way down just to see the range of my options. Tighten it back up. Very nice that you can do that so easily. Once I get it right, I shouldn't really ever have to move it. What I notice here is it just gives me, it rises it up a little. All right, so I'm gonna put this wheel in the middle of the slot just to kind of feel like that might be best for what I'm doing. Some of this can depend on your height and what's a good angle for you. So it's nice that it's so easy. And like I said, once, once you get it where you like it, you probably won't ever have to adjust it. Very nice, very easy to use. So, I think I'll like it. Okay, so this is the blower. The only installation for this was this plastic tube just popped in here and snapped in. That was the only installation when I opened this up and of course charged the battery. So it's hard to see in the light but when you touch these, there's two speeds, turtle and rabbit. Turtle for slow, rabbit slid up, that's the fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on turtle. That's a lower power blower and then I'll touch it up to rabbit. So quite a difference. So I'm gonna try this out. I don't actually know what this button is for. Oh, if you wanna, don't wanna hold it with your finger, I think you can probably pull the trigger and push that button in. And then you don't have to hold it, so that's kinda nice. So this is the low speed. This might be good in a garage or something. Not sure I would use the low outside, but we'll find out. The low speed, low speed actually works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the high speed. very well normally I edge once a month and don't use a blower first to clean it up we usually go ahead and sweep it up because there's so much and then we just use the blower at the end for the remaining clippings so very pleased with it I think I would use the high speed for like a driveway sidewalk what most of what I do but say you were cleaning out a garage or you had grass in a corner of a garage and you just wanted to get it out of there or maybe on the porch where I where I use the blower on the porch and you're kind of enclosed and it just kind of blows back out at you because it bounces off the walls or something. That might be a good low speed setting. So very happy with the blower also. Okay, so this is our hedge trimmer, our Milwaukee hedge trimmer. It came assembled and has this nice plastic cover that goes on. 
So all we gotta do is pull the, there's a safety thing here, ambidextrous, so left or right-handed, your thumb can hit it. So as a right-hander, I'm gonna touch that with the thumb and go down, and then it'll let me turn it on. Okay, so we're gonna go try this out for the first time. As you can see, this is one of my upcoming projects. This mess of a hedge that's covering these utilities. I'm just gonna demonstrate this right now since I've never used it on this, this little area right here. how it's instant off when you let your finger off the power the blades just immediately stop whereas my gas powered hedge, hedge trimmer because it has an idle it would always keep the blades running which can be dangerous if it swings over and hits somebody else or you come down and accidentally swipe around your leg it's nice that that watch how they stop instantly that's a nice safety thing. So one thing I don't like with hedge trimmers is having to do it up high like this above my shoulders. It puts a lot of pressure on, on my neck and shoulders. So that's one of my projects with this mess that I'll be using this for is to kind of get all these other hedges right here down to this height, which is already kind of high for me to hold it up like that. So that's what I'm going to be working on soon. demonstration I'm pleased with it um, pleased with the way it operates and I think it'll be good <laughs>